Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create some cool smoke in Maya 2017. Now in this tutorial I'm just going to touch on some of the basic parameters. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Alright, so as you can see here's a little animation I rendered out using the Play Blast uh, animation. So it's not really a render, just a preview and it's obviously low res and um, yeah, behind it I've got a still frame that I just rendered out from uh, Maya using Arnold. So also pretty low resolution, but uh, just to kind of show you guys what we are going to do. So in Maya, I'm going to go file new scene and I don't want to save that just to start a new scene. And uh, then you need to make sure that you're in your FX panel or FX mode in Maya. Usually if you start up Maya, you'll be in modeling. So just click on this drop down and set it to FX. And uh, then we're going to create a particle or fluid particle system. So we're going to go to fluids and then we're going to click on 3D container. And it's going to create this box with this little dot in the middle. So this box is the area that your smoke is going to be in. And uh, the little dot is your emitter. So I'm going to click on the box or just select the box and I'm going to move it up. So just drag it up and I'm pressing W on the keyboard. And uh, then we're going to scale the box slightly. We're going to make it a bit bigger and a bit wider. So you're on the side in your outline. Now I'm going to select the fluid one and then make sure that you're on the fluid shape and then scroll all the way up and this is where we're going to set the size so we've got our x y and z so i'm going to increase the y to around 20 and then i'm going to set the x to 15 and the z to 15 as well okay so that's just giving us a little bit of a bigger area to work in and i'm going to move that up again so we're just sitting above the grid and uh, then i'm going to select the emitter this little dot in the center and i'm going to move that down so it's slightly above the bottom of this box so this is where the smoke will be emitting from and then it's going to move up towards the top of this box and it's not going to go any further it's like a it's actually going to stop there and it's going to try and kind of escape from this box so next we want to start with uh, setting some parameters on our emitter so make sure your emitter is selected and then here on the side in your attribute editor we're going to just change some of these settings so you'll see under fluid attributes you'll see density voxels per second and by default this is set to 1 and this is the rate that it's actually releasing voxels or, or creating voxels or creating smoke. So uh, the bigger the number the more smoke it will actually create. So I'm going to set this to around 3. We can always come back and change this. So that's the only thing we're going to change for now on the emitter. So next you want to select the box. So uh, with the box selected this is where we're going to set all the settings for your smoke or all the attributes. So right at the top it's going to give you a base resolution. Now if I play this back, you'll see it's going to start creating some smoke and it's really ugly looking smoke. It's really low resolution and this base resolution that is to control the resolution or the quality of this smoke. So I'm going to stop that and uh, then I'm just going to increase my amount of frames. I'm going to set it to 200 and uh, just set this to sorry to 200. That's good. So obviously now if you play this back you'll see the low quality smoke just emitting it's rising up and then it's kind of just sitting there at the top. Alright I'm just going to stop that and go back to the first frame and then we're going to scroll down and just go through some of these settings. So let's start with contents method. Under that you'll find all these uh, the density, the velocity and the temperature and the fuel. So the only thing I'm going to change here is the temperature. I'm going to set this to dynamic grid as well. And that's just going to, I find it gives you a little bit of a more realistic um, smoke look because it's going to interpret the temperature as well. All right, then we're going to go down to the contents details. And this is where you're going to set most of your settings or your parameters. So here you get density, velocity, turbulence, temperature, fuel, color. So we're going to start with density. And um, then the only things we're going to change here is the buoyancy and also the dissipation. So buoyancy is basically the rate or the um, speed that the smoke is rising up. So by default it's set to 1 and I'm going to set it to around 1.7 and then the dissipation that is the rate that the smoke is actually disappearing. So I'm going to set that to 0 0.1. Alright, let's do a quick preview and you'll see it's going to look very similar because our quality is still very low. So to get a bit of a better um, preview we're going to increase our resolution or the base resolution Default it's set to 10 and I'm going to set this to 30 so we can kind of see what's going on. So let's play back and you'll see our smoke is definitely looking a little bit better. A bit more details and you can see the smoke is just rising up and it's hitting the ceiling. Alright so we're going to stop that, go back to the first frame and uh, we're going to go through some of these other settings quickly. So this is the only thing I'm going to change under density and that's the buoyancy and the dissipation. 
So I'm going to just minimize that and go into velocity. All right, so velocity, we're going to increase the swirl, and that's the swirl of the smoke, just causing some swirling motion and also increasing the noise. So let's look at that quickly. And uh, then you'll see it will have a little bit of noise in the smoke. You'll see that it's not just a straight line. So I'm going to stop that, go back to the first frame again, and uh, then you can go to turbulence. And we're going to increase the strength. Um, just be very careful if you set this to something like one, and you'll see if you play this back, the smoke will just go all over the place because the turbulence will be very high. So I'm going to set this to 0.05. Let's try that. Okay, maybe that's slightly too high. I'm going to set it to 0.03. And I'm going to leave the frequency and the speed um, default. Okay, and that's the only settings that I want to change under the contents details. So we're going to scroll down all the way to textures. Let's just expand that. And uh, then I'm going to enable these three boxes. And I just find this gives you a nice quick texture that you can use. So if I do a very quick render now, you'll see that we've got some texture and some color there. So that will just give you that you can obviously play around with this. You can also change the texture type. Um, I find this one looks pretty nice, but you can obviously um, experiment and see how the others look as well. And um, then I'm going to minimize that and then we're going to go on to shading. So under shading, this is where you're going to set the color. So you'll see um, under here we've got our colors. So currently, if you open up your renderer, you'll see that is what we have. I'm just going to zoom in here slightly. And um, this is where you can now go in. You can click on this one of these colors. You can uh, move it around and you can also change the color. So I'm going to set this to white. All right. So let's close our renderer down. And uh, next we're going to scroll down and we're going to go to lighting. And uh, the only thing under lighting, I usually enable self shadows. And that will just cause the smoke to cast shadows on itself. So that will also just increase the um, realism of your smoke. Okay, next we're going to increase the resolution so we can just get a better idea how it's going to look like. So I'm going to go right up to the top under container properties and I'm going to increase this to around 60. And uh, let's go to frame one and just play back to start the simulation. So that's looking all right, but I want to increase the rate that it's uh, emitting smoke. So I'm going to go back into the emitter, the fluid emitter here in the outliner. And then I'm going to set the density voxels per second to four. All right, let's try that again. Okay, so that's looking all right. Let's do a quick test render. Yeah, okay, that's looking fine. All right, so let's say you're happy with all the parameters for your smoke. And uh, you want to cache or you want to kind of pre-render a higher resolution version of your smoke. So currently our base resolution is set to 60 and uh, I'm going to increase this to 120. So it's nice and high. It's not super high. You can usually go for like 400 or 300 if you want to create like a really high resolution smoke simulation. Uh, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to go up to 120. Now, every time you press play, it's going to re-simulate those frames and you don't really want that. You want to pre-render or pre-cache those frames. And to do that, just make sure that you've got your fluid selected here in the outliner. And uh, then I'm going to go up to end cache and then create new cache. And then we're going to click on Maya Fluid. And it's going to ask you to overwrite any existing cache that's inside the folder where your project is set to. So I'm going to click on replace existing and uh, then it's going to go through all those frames and it's going to recache or it's going to kind of record them into that folder so you don't have to re-simulate every time you hit the play button. So obviously this is going to take some time because our resolution is set to 120 which is kind of high and uh, it's going to run through all those frames, 200 frames. So just give it a couple of minutes to finish and I'm just going to fast forward through this quickly. All right, so I've cached up to 101 frames. It uh, takes some time, so for this tutorial, 101 frames should be okay. So I'm just gonna set my project to 101 frames in total, 101. Now you can scrub through your timeline. It's obviously gonna be a bit slow because it's got a lot of uh, particles in this shot, but it's not gonna recalculate that frame every time you click on it. Or if you click on play now, it's not going to recalculate every frame. It's not going to do the simulation again. It's just going to load the particles from the cache. And now we can go ahead and create a quick preview play blast. So I'm going to go to windows and then play blast. And uh, then it's just going to create a low resolution animation 
from the actual Maya interface. So I'm just going to fast forward through this quickly. Okay, so the play blast is done. Let's have a look and see how it looks like. So you can see it's looking pretty cool. Obviously this is very low resolution and it's just a preview so you can kind of just get a feel for the animation. And uh, obviously if you're happy with this you can go ahead and do your actual render in Maya. So I'm just going to do a uh, still frame render. So I'm just going to zoom in slightly, uh, not that far, something like that. And let's just do a quick render to see how that looks like. All right, as you can see, it's got some nice details. Obviously, we only set the resolution to 120. You can go a lot higher. Obviously, your simulation time will increase. So maybe try something like 200 or 250. See how long that takes. And uh, if you're happy with the animation, you can always increase the resolution to get a uh, higher quality smoke. So yeah, that's how easy it is to create some cool looking smoke in Maya 2017. I obviously just touched on some of the basics. So the best is just to go around, play with some of the parameters, see what you get. And uh, once you're happy with the smoke or the animation, just increase the base resolution to get a better quality smoke. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And also remember to click on that subscribe button to be notified of new tutorials. I upload new visual effects and motion graphics tutorials on a weekly basis. So yeah, click on that subscribe button. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys next time. Cheers, bye.